like leaning into the struggle is something you're doing whether you recognize it or not. Like you are struggling with something. And struggle is not a bad thing unless you didn't intentionally choose it. So morning I am finally about to get caffeinated sit down in my creative space and write a war spoken word for you so hope you've enjoyed the first two episodes about to get into my space every month I write a spoken word that goes with the theme of whatever we're talking about and today what came out was just like these three different sections like I had questions I want to ask and then there's like scenarios of what resistance is and actually defining what resistance is. So this is going to be a, it's a big piece. So right now I just brain up and put it out, you know, how it came out of my mind. Now I have to piece it together. But so some of the sections were, I wanted to define like what is resistance. So the first thing that came to my mind is it's a necessary force in our life. Most of the time, it keeps us from doing the things that we know we want to do. But my challenge and perspective change that I want to get people to, to embrace is that resistance is also an ally. So it can either be an en enemy or an ally. And so when it becomes your enemy, it will continue to stop you from doing what you want to do. When it becomes your ally, then you understand that it's a necessary force and you lean up against it every day and still do what needs to be done no matter what. And so resistance is like this wall right here, right? And it holds the gift on the other side. It's always there. And it wants you to have that gift, but it's want, it wants to see, do you have what it takes? And if you don't have what it takes, then you don't cross over and get the gift. If you have what it takes, then you get to knock that wall down and get the gift. But you haven't necessarily won the game because resistance is persistent. And it'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> that's just the way it goes. And so that's why I always challenge people to, to go through the mindset and explore the reality that, or the question, what are you willing to struggle for? Because it's going to show up every day, no matter what. So be intentional about it, or you can just let it happen to you. And so I've gone through both in my life. And so that's why I'm, I want to share these lessons now. Um, so as I was writing this, it broke down into defining what resistance is. Um, and even I even wrote a line in here that resistance will love nothing more than for you to face it head on so you can reap the reward that it holds on the other side of its deceiving nature. Like you think it's there to stop you, but it's really there to see, do you really have what it takes? Um, and to understand when you commit to the thing, resistance takes its foothold and it starts to plot its unavoidable attack. You can't do anything about it, it's coming. Um, but that's not a bad thing. You, otherwise, you wouldn't be able to feel achievement. If you didn't go through the resistance, 
you wouldn't be able to feel the feeling that you get when you actually achieve the thing after you struggled for it. And so my mission with all of this stuff is to change the perception of what struggle is. It's not a bad thing unless you just let it happen to you. But when you're intentional about it and you choose like, you know what, I would love my life to look like this. It's going to require me to do this, this and this. Sounds great from my armchair making the plans, but now I got to step out and actually do stuff about it. And I'm willing to struggle for that. Uh, so do you have what it takes to step out into the courage? Do you have what it takes to make that phone call? Do you have what it takes to know your worth in a relationship and demand to be treated better? Uh, do you have what it takes to get uncomfortable so that you can live your best life? These are a series of questions that I'm going to ask during the spoken word somehow. I have to put it all together. Um, and I wrote down that procrastination is the oldest habit that we possess, that we pay the least amount of attention to. We just let it keep doing its thing every day, avoiding the thing every day. All the while, there's this little voice that's saying, don't avoid that, don't do that, like, go toward that. But it's uncomfortable. So, and then there's a lot more. I won't go into all that. But that's, that's really the lesson is, do you want resistance to be your enemy? Or are you willing to do what it takes to have it be your ally? Either way, resistance is fine. It doesn't really care. What's up? Uh, about to get a little workout in. So, have y'all join me for the workout because this is part of me going to war with myself. I feel a lot of resistance with workouts sometimes, even though I'm a trainer and I love that environment. There's times when I just have a lot of resistance about just getting into the work. So I thought I'd film a workout since uh, it's a, an important part of my life. Uh, before I do that, I had this, this thing that came to my mind because I want to share this with you because I think you need to hear it. Um, all these lessons and things that I'm teaching, I don't want you to think that I'm your guru or that I'm your expert or that I got it all together, right? There's nothing I'm saying that hasn't been said before. All I'm doing is adding my true life experience on the things that I do every day, the things that I've established for myself, and I'm sharing that openly with the hope that maybe it adds some value to you and provides a different perspective for you to go make your own decisions. And that's the biggest thing is just not to follow anything I say blindly. I want you to actually think for yourself and you choose. Um, so I, I feel like I need to say that because there's a lot of lessons and things that I'm giving. It can seem like I have it all together and got it all figured out. What I do have figured out is that I have to go to war, war with myself every day and stay in these practices. And uh, if that helps you to see that, and to for me to share some of the frameworks I, I use and to share some of the PDF guides and things that you can download, then you know I'm good with that. But just want to make sure that we're straight. This is all about you knowing yourself, and I'm just providing perspective. And I'm glad you're here. Sweet. About to hit a little 15, 20 minute circuit. Just get a little movement in the middle of my day. And uh Helps spark my creativity, makes me feel a little bit of power for the rest of the day. So, all right, let's get after this. Get after it. Go to war.
Now, I get the reward. Feels good. Got that done. If I hadn't done it now, it would have been on my mind all day. Like this little undercurrent of like chaos running all day because I know I haven't done the thing I need to do. So that's off the list. I did my writing for the day. Did a little meditation this morning. By the way, in the uh, last episode of season one, episode four, I talked a lot about morning routine. Actually gave you a full framework for morning routine. Go back and check that out. Season one, episode four, how to uh, develop a morning routine. So I just gave you a couple parts of mine, but my mission is not to give you my morning routine. I want you to create your own. So the free tools I give you in that episode, I allow you to create your own. But it's all about just building power through the day. So I feel more powerful now because I got this important thing off my list, something that matters. So uh, now it's time to go find all the food. That's what's up. I love about the queen being retired. She's been feeding me good, real good. I've been eating this avocado toast every day. Look at this right here. Oh my God. Every day. It's good. So you're you okay with runny egg, right? Sure. Let's go in. Going in. Might need to, I don't know, you get nah. for a couple of minutes, seconds. Nah, we used to, hey, eat, let we me, used to eat food. Let me it. see that shirt. What, ah. what? Oh, Ooh. first one. My war shirt. First one. Dang. Well, Tease is, him. Yeah, my first teeth. Tease him. I have oh. a tank, but. Tease him. <laughs> so, no, I, I was telling you, you said, uh, we need to warm it up. Me and this guy, we used to eat food in the parking lot with our hands when we were going through, when we <laughs> developed the, the eat right system. Cold food in the parking yeah, lot? Yeah, like it was time to eat, so we'll pull over. It was Office Depot parking lot or something like that. Yeah. We were like, man, it's time to eat. We didn't have forks or anything. We just took our hands, eating out of the toe like this. It reminds me of that commercial. They're dipping their fingers in the. Let's <laughs> try this. Yeah, it was real. Now we're, uh, I think we're a little more civilized. I don't know. You know. Speak for yourself. <laughs> blow up. Want the blow up bite? Oh, it didn't happen. Mm. Oh. 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 So let, let's bring this all together with an analogy that I think will help a lot. So we're talking about war, win against resistance. You can apply that to any area in your life. But let's use this workout again. I'm gonna show you an example, right? If I pick up this weight, automatically there's a force against me, right? And it, it's tangible, I can see it. In life, it might not always be like that. There's, there's, a, there's a force against you though. There's some kind of resistance. So in the, in the case of this weight, I can feel this force against me. This force wants me to do the wrong thing. Okay? It wants to pull me into bad positions. So if I just let this force do what it wants to do, what's going to happen is I'm going to end up probably like on the floor over here somewhere, right? Now, if I understand that if I pick up this weight, this resistance is going to be here, right? In the case of life, when I wake up in the morning, the resistance is going to be here. So if I know that, then I can prepare myself. I can brace my core. I can set my mind right. I can flex all the right muscles. I can use leverage to put myself in the best positions to show this resistance who's the boss. All right? And it may not always go exactly the way I want it to go, but if I understand that the struggle, the resistance, it is part of the journey, then what happens is I start to win against the resistance, right? I can press the resistance, I can stay in good form, I can do whatever I want to with it, okay? Now, what happens is, all right, I'm done, I did what I need to do, ah, feels good, resistance is gone. In this case, you might be going to sleep at the end of the night, then you wake up again, and guess what? There is resistance. It's there to put you in a bad position if you allow it, so it's your enemy or it can be your ally. If you use the resistance the right way, you get stronger, right? 
you're willing to face the struggle, you get a little bit stronger. The more you do that, repeat the process, that's when you get to get the reward that's on the other side of the resistance. In the case of a workout, you get stronger muscles, you get leaner, you have less body fat, you feel better about yourself, you have more confidence. In the case of life, you get closer to achieving the thing that you want. So that's the best analogy I can use is win against the resistance by making it your ally. And when you do that, you win.